Well, we want to welcome everyone to the Women of Worthy show. We hope you had a great weekend. We hope you masked up. We hope you wore your gloves and everything. Well, you guys know, for some of you, come a little closer. You know I've had this man on my list. He was on my short list. I don't want to say bucket list because bucket list is when you kick the bucket. He's been on my list for such a long time. I feel like I want to cry. I can't do that now because my lashes are going to fall off and I can't let that happen. So without further ado, we have the founder, the CEO, the man who made his dream into a reality, Mr. Jack Fallon. Hello, Jack. How are you? Oh, I am. Look, I'm fabulous now that you're on the show. Fabulous. So I, from one entrepreneur to another, and you're on the next level for me, and I want to learn so much from you. When I put it out on my private groups that you were going to be on this show, I had so many questions. So can you please tell us a little bit about the man behind TLC, Total Life Changes? See how excited I am? So can you please tell us a little bit about how you got started? Yes, absolutely. Well, first and foremost, thank you for having me on your show. I look forward to coming here. Um, so it's uh, an honor and my pleasure. So yes, we got started with TLC in 1999. It uh, was born um, out of uh, frustration of working on the assembly line at Ford Motor in Detroit. Uh, my friend John Licari and myself were always looking to obviously uh, make extra income on the side, you know, working at Ford, we were young in our 20s. And um, I was a distributor at ACN, which is an, an, another network marketing company in the 90s. And that's kind of that's where I broke my teeth as far as network marketing. I learned the business model and I just fell in love with it. Um, but one of their products, their products was uh, technology based. So in the 90s, um, technology was up and down. And I, I just, I was just so in love with the energy of network marketing. There was nowhere in the world you could go into a room full of strangers um, and just be greeted like you were just a, an amazing person. So I just, I love the business model. I just knew that we had to find a way um, how to make it better and how to expose it to more people. So TLC was born um, in 99 and we just, we started out of my basement and we, continued like every entrepreneur burning the midnight oil and working at Ford still and trying and doing everything that you can think wrong. You know, we wrote the book on um, do not do this if you're an entrepreneur and we, and we added chapters. Um, and then probably about 2006, we started to get a little traction. We understood the merchant accounts. We understood the supply and demand of products, the formulators, the, the best manufacturers around. So we started to get a little traction. And each year we just continuously stuck to it. John and I, basically our backgrounds blue collar, you know, we, were, we worked on the assembly line and you know, the, the only thing that you, they didn't like you to do at the, on the assembly line is not show up. So we, we had that mentality. We did it every day, day in and day out. We would go to Ford in the morning we would get done and we'd go in my basement and work until 10, 11, 12 at night, depending on you know what we had going on. We were the customer service. We were the shipping. We were the, uh, my mother-in-law was the accounting person and we, we just did it all. So um, it was a lot of fun looking back now. Those days are just so memorable. Um, and, you know, we, we cherish them and laugh about them because of, you know, where we are now is just a, just a whole, like you said, it's a whole nother level and it's a whole nother, you know, you have to keep growing as an individual to have the company keep growing. And we, we've dedicated ourselves to that as well. For those tuning in, we have the one and the only Mr. Jack Fallon. He's the CEO, founder of Total Life Changes. Now, okay, because I'm getting into this. Now, you mentioned, you said something that I hope I will be looking back where I am now and just laughing and like, oh my God, I love those days. Because right now, Jack, I'm not loving these days. Like, oh. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> you will. You I will. Trust me. Will. Because I'm doing everything. I'm doing the shipping. No, my husband's doing the shipping. I'm like pulling family members. Yeah. You know, and then I'll have people calling me, hey, we need to do a show. We need to do a show. My show was on one day. And now it's like it morphed into more than one day. And I love that. So you started your business. 
how can you help those out there who has, they have an idea, they have a dream, but they're stuck with the nine to five and they don't have the gumption to, you know what, I'm just going to quit or I'm just going to get everything together and this is what I'm going to start. Because so many of us have ideas, entrepreneurial ideas, but we don't have what it is to take it to that next level. What advice would you give someone regarding that? Do not quit your day job. So first and foremost, um, because that's added stress. You need you know, you have a plan, and you know, fortunately or unfortunately, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to build your plan or the business you're looking to build after hours. So um, you're gonna have to put in those long nights when you, you if you're going to your day job and and just make sure um, that your income starts to grow from your business before you quit anything. I guarantee the day is going to come where you have you you're forced to quit, meaning you cannot spend any time going to your job because your business is demanding more time of you. That day will come, but do not force it to come and do not um, quit early. Uh, that, that that job, you know, I'm very respectful to Ford Motor. They took care of me all those years, right? They they helped me build my dream. So when you go to work, look at your career that you're presently doing or your job, whatever you're doing as they're helping you build your dream. Um, and that will take the heat off you inside too because we get anxious, right? I remember being at Ford, it'd be, oh my God, they asked us to stay late. And I would be like, I can't stay late. I gotta get the heck out of here. I got packages to deliver, phone calls to answer, you know? Um, but if you look at it like they're helping you build your dream, it helps those, those bad times and those times that you're anxious to get out of where you're working just a little bit smoother and easier. And I think when you're working at a nine to five, you see how the company built its a model and you can then incorporate that into your company. Like you see how HR is done or you figure out how it's done by speaking to someone. So you see how the model is ran and then you can duplicate that in what you're doing. So let me tell you something, Jack. Everywhere I go, I see this doggone tea. OK, <laughs> everywhere. I can't go anywhere without seeing your colors. So you have done a great job with marketing. Branding is more. And I understand behind with a, behind every great man. It's not even behind him. It's a great team. And I see how your team loves you. They've done a phenomenal job. So hats off to your, your business partners, hats off to your marketing person. Cause I'm telling you, I can go to Jamaica. I can go to Africa. I can go to Brazil. I see that damn team. Okay. <laughs> so, I want to, I want to just get this uh, up so we can have a, a great interview. Let's talk about the elephant that's in the room. Okay. <laughs> Got to do it. Let's talk about. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I can make you laugh. I'm glad that you're. I'm here for your amusement, you know. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's just two friends talking. I want to talk about the elephant in the room because I did receive a lot of emails regarding that, and I want you to explain what happened without me interpreting anything. What happened, and um, if you could talk more about that, because. I got a lot of emails about that and I wanted, and I told people to watch it. We're going to get a lot of replays because our show's more on the replays instead of the live. So can we talk about the elephant in the room regarding absolutely you know, this whole stuff, the black lives matter and yeah. You know, okay. Let's, okay. Let's talk. It's only you and I. So let's yeah. talk. Yes. Yes, for sure. So probably you got a lot of emails and um, I turned into a controversial person like very fast and what happened was, is we were on a show and I said, um, all lives matter. And at that point in time, my, all of my African-American distributors of family around the world needed me to say black lives matter. They really needed me to say that. Um, to be honest with you, at that point in time, we were, we were still in the dark as to what happened and what was going on. We didn't know the magnitude of what was taking place. We truly didn't. And so I didn't think too much of that because I would say 75% of the distributors in TLC are African-American, really are African-American around the world. We're known as an African-American um, uh, company. So that took place. But what happened was before that, the, the three months prior for me, before I said made that statement, we probably put in 80,000 new African-Americans. I mean, that's a lot of people in three months. But I really don't have any idea who I am, who I stand for, um, don't know the history of the company really. 
They might have heard that it's an African American company, um, and they don't know, you know, I, all the 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 people that we have. I, you know, we've been to funerals together, we've been to weddings, we go to trips every year. Um, so they just didn't know. They didn't know me, and um, so yeah, that that's basically what took place. And I had a bunch of um, people that I didn't know were weren't real happy. I made an apology. Um, I went on so many calls and webinars to apologize. Uh, and it, and But I can't sit here and make excuses because shame on me for not being educated. You know, I, I have two African-American nephews. Um, so who do I, you know, I think first and foremost, you got to look at your family and they're going to ask you, did you do anything to help? Did you do anything to help the situation? Now, so I, I took that to heart and most of the people that I talked to, I said, listen, I don't have any excuses. I should have been educated. My, my, my staff, I mean, we even have staff that's African-American that just said, well, we didn't know, right? Well, if we don't know, then we're not making a change. It's really that simple. There's, if, if we, we can't play that naive and, and uh, card and say, well, we didn't know. So what we did after that is we quick, quickly, obviously educated ourselves because Education leads to action. And obviously, if anybody knows me, I'm a man of action. I don't get on lives or beat my chest or anything like that because it's just not my personality. So um, what we did from that point on is, is, is educated immediately our staff, educated myself first and foremost. Um, and then we looked out to avenues to uh, help the cause. This. It, some of the things that were going on, to be honest with you, is is just embarrassing to to be a human. You know what I mean? It's just it's just bad. There's there's no way around that. But action and education lead to results. So we've been just pressing forward and um it, and just not in in um, donations, right? Because that's easy. Anybody can write a check and you know to the NC. Uh, and to the ACLU, the NCAAP, and I mean, it, you can write all these checks, right? And, you're, and none of them really add up to educating yourself. You just wrote a check and you put an, an, you know, a stamp on it or whatever. Um, so um, we reached out. We, we actually hooked up with um, a gentleman that is local, which I really like this guy. And the reason why I like him is because he is Black Lives Chapter of Detroit. Well, when we reached out to him, because obviously we live here, you want to always clean your front porch first, right? He, he said, he said, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't want any, no donations. Um, there's plenty of companies that have called and I said, I don't want any donations. I want um, action. I want elbow grease. I want people to be involved. Um, so we set up a meeting with him and we're moving forward in that direction. Um, so it's, it's, but it's been a daily uh, it's it's on our board now, it, it meaning it, it, how do we help? How do we get rid of this ignorance? How do we get rid of this hate that just is is around the world? Even though, see, I think what happens to me is, is that even though it might not be in our circle or our world, you can't play like, well, you, so you have to be aware of what's taking place. We service the world. TLC services the world. So we, we're heavily moving in that direction on a daily basis. It's on our agenda. So. Well, and I like that. And being an African-American woman, as you could see, um, what I love is you apologized and you decided to not just throw money at it, to educate, because being a black person, we want people to just listen. We want white people to just listen to what we have to say and just show some empathy. And so you are going that route and it is on your agenda. And the fact that you said that you were naive about it and you were human enough to admit it, I don't know what else to say. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many people just throw money at it and they're doing something else. And not only that, because 75% of your distributors are African-American, you know, so you are helping people. What I like about your company, because there's so many MLM companies out there, but what I like about your company is basically, you know, I, look, this show is not sponsored by TLC. I'm letting you know now it's not sponsored by. So what I like about your company is, and, and watching you, because I've been stalking you for a while. So you can call up the police on, police on me now, okay? Because we're friends now. You can stop, okay? That would be me looking around, okay? That would be me. 
Um, I see that your heart and soul. I see how you are with your employees and they're not really employees. I take that back. They're family. They're part of the TLC family. And I think so many companies can, can learn from, you know, from, from what you're doing from total life changes. I think so many can. So I commend you on that. So where do you see TLC? Um, let's say in the next five years, because my, my God, you really have mushroomed. You've morphed into something, your own planet. You guys have your own earth. OK, yeah, <laughs> we have. And um, but we've been building for this. Our, our internal team has been building for this. Our our field of family of uh, distributors have been building all of our life changes around the world. So it's almost like they knew something was going to explode. That mushroom was going to explode. So. I mean, in in five years, you know, everyone says, oh, you, you know, all these companies, we were going to be the next billion dollar company or we're going to, you know, we're going to do this. And, you know, we, we just started saying, let's just build a community, right? Let, let's build a community that, that changes lives, like truly changes lives. So in some odd way, me making that statement um, really has even set the tone even further. And what I mean by that is that, it it helped us get him into a direction of like, listen, we have to make a change on what is taking place right here in our front door. And how do we do that? Each community we need to get into and help. Um, so in five years, we that's what we want to be a part of. We want to be a part of the community. So and you hear about TLC, we don't want you to ever say, well, they're, they're a, a big company or the sales are huge or anything like that, because that's just that, right? People always will forget what you say. They'll forget what you do, but they'll never forget how you make them feel. So let's let's make as, as many people as we can in, in a better situation, um, a happy situation. Let's put as many smiles on as many faces as we can. And we've been concentrating on that, believe it or not, for 18 months at least. And I, and I think everything else just falls in place. If you build a community where people feel safe, and I'm talking, obviously, every type of situation. I mean, you know, we have women hero groups. We have, um, you name it, because we're, we're global. Uh, and us building that means so much to us and the rest of the life changers around the world. A community where everybody feels safe, that they can depend on TLC to help them make a change either for themselves, their family, or the community they're in. What would you like to be known for? Um, you know, I'm pretty simple. I mean, just a, a, a good father, uh, you know, a good husband and just put something in place to help change the world. And everybody was able to gravitate to that energy, the TLC energy and change their lives, you know, somehow, some way, whatever that is, it could be the smallest, it could be the biggest, but use that TLC energy to, to do that. And, if I put that in place or help put that in place, because like you said earlier, I'm nothing sitting here without my team. Um, they do everything on a daily basis in, in, in concert. So that's what I would truly, me personally would only like to be liked by or known by. If your, let's say 45 reached out and he said, you know what, Jack, I love what you're doing. I'm going to grant you, there's three, th if, if I can give you three things and I'll give it to you right now, what three things that you would like him to give you that could change the world or things that you would see implemented legislatively or whatever? What would you like him to do? Who Who is the person going to be handing this to me? Your president, the president. Oh. oh. If, he, if he reaches out to you and says, hey, I love what TLC is doing. What do you, I'm going to give you three of your wish list, three things on your wish list. What would you like me to grant you? Which What three things would you like him to grant? Well, I so would it could it be just like dream or does it have to be like a physical thing that no, 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 no. anything he's you know he's out there he says hey and this is a question I ask people because I want them to think yeah. or they know right away because what would you like him to, to to grant you it doesn't matter what it is whether it's your company personally but something that's going to help the world let's be let's be clear on that okay well I, I think first and foremost. I think everybody out there has to go to some sort of school at, I don't know what age, but there's got to be education based on the differences 
of of race. I, and I think if everybody goes through and gets educated in school, I don't know if it's first grade or if it's fifth grade or uh, tenth grade, right? If everybody is forced to go there and learn how all of us are different, um, races, genders, you name it, they got it. I mean, it could be a two year course and it's mandatory, meaning um, you have to go through there and you have to pass. I, I think if that's implemented right away, I believe the world will start to change, especially the United States, because we have the biggest melting pot, especially the United States, I, I think will be start to, will start changing next month as soon as those classes are implemented, because it really comes down to education. It, it, it truly, it truly does. So um, let's learn. Let's learn about each other. Let's not just assume. Right. And it's very, very important to do that. And I and I think when educated I believe this this you know horrible word hate goes away because now you know each other. So right, we're all humans. We're all connected. We are all connected. And where I believe hate comes from is is not knowing or ignorance or in it all leads to education. And I would love if he could implement that. That would be amazing. I think. Where have you? What's on your bucket? And I hate using the word bucket list. Where have you traveled that? was one of the best places you when you went you felt like you were in heaven Ooh, um you know i always feel no matter what country we do an event we do event all over the world i always feel like i'm having uh when i so basically it's my job is to welcome everybody i get on stage and i welcome everybody to come right and nine times out of ten it, they don't speak english but for whatever reason when I'm on that stage right before that happens, I feel like I, I, I'm truly in heaven. And I think it's that, and believe me, you can ask anybody, I run from stage time. I, everyone's like, you gotta talk more, because I'll do two minutes, I'll welcome everybody, I'll let them know we're very thankful for them, very thankful to share this time, because time's our most valuable commodity. And basically, I'm, I'm off the stage, and um, during that is when I, I really truly feel like I'm in heaven. How did a guy from where you're from, it's great that you had people who could support you and support your dream and believed in you. How did you, what did you find, what, what, at what moment did you realize you were successful? Well, I wait, 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 before you answer that question, listen to me. I have a young lady on the live, right? She is very tough, very tough. She just posted, I like him. I want to I want to fall off my stool. Okay. She is tough. Okay. Oh, so when she said that, I'm like, damn, I told you you like him. Okay. So yeah. So when did at what moment did you realize whatever success means to you that you felt that you were successful? Well, first and foremost, go back. I, I never had really anybody that supported my dream. Everyone thought I was crazy. Um, Johnny helps me because he's my friend. So I asked him to help me. Right. My mother-in-law is my mother-in-law. So she's like, well, I'll do your books. Um, my wife thought I was crazy for sure. So, but why I'm saying that to all those entrepreneurs out there, when you're chasing your dream, you want everyone to think you're crazy because you use that as your fuel. That is your fuel to continue the fight. You're never ever out of the fight. Use the fuel of the naysayers to continue to push forward. That's really any, everything in life. But um, so I'm. Sorry, what was the second question? <laughs> That's okay. I just feel like I, I'm. We're eating popcorn and we're talking. Right, right. right. Um, when did you feel? At oh. what moment did you realize you were successful? Well, I'll tell you. This, I don't feel like I'm successful, and what I mean by that is, I would say there was one period of time in the TLC history. I'm like, we're we're doing pretty good, right? And so then our sales started to go backwards. And right then and there, I got on my hands and knees and said, God, never, ever let me feel successful. Never, ever let me feel satisfied. Let me feel the satisfaction of everyone else that's involved in TLC and everyone else that's going to be involved. Somehow, some way, I want to feel the satisfaction of them changing their lives through TLC. So I never use that word successful, and I don't see myself as successful. 
Oh, and I like that because that'll always keep you on your toes. And that's why I created the Women Are Worthy show because, or the platform Women Are Worthy, because I constantly heard women complaining about each other. And I did the same thing. And I said, Jackie, you want to be part of the, of the solution, not part of the problem. So I created a platform for women. And then I had guys whispering in my ear, like, where's our platform? We want to be men are worthy. Change, you know, have something for men are worthy. I said, look, I am not changing my show to men are worthy. What I will do is I will put men on the show and have conversations with them because the way I look at this, Jack, we're all in the same book, just different mm -hmm. chapters. You may be in chapter 20 and I'm in chapter five, but I need to make sure that I'm reading all the my affirmations and my books on guru and stalking people, stalking people like you, you know, and just watching what you're doing, going on your social media pages. And I got to recruit you for, for being my mentor or whatever, but um, we'll work on that. Yeah, I, I heard that nervous laughter. But anyway, it's, it's all <laughs> <laughs> it's all about because we all need mentors and um, yes. and for me I noticed that I have so many women now that will support what I'm doing so many men that are mentoring me and support what I'm doing and want to see me successful because I, I I'm I'm allergic to negative Nellies. I love positive Polly's. I can't do the negativity thing and I'm allergic to it. So I don't want to be a part of that. And I'm always going to keep on my toes. So basically I can check off my list. Some of the things that you've said, because I, I want to, I don't want to think I'm successful. If I have a big celebrity on the show, people are like, Oh my God, you did a great job. Well, I want to think I do a great job with my celebrities in the community. As I call people in the community that are doing things. So, what do you do for your downtime? Whew. So we're, we're, you know, we're a seven day operation. You know, John and I are in that office and, and I, we love it. I mean, it's, it's our, it's our passion. It's our baby. It's our, it, it gets our fuel still. It, it, it's in our blood. So we're, we're there seven days. If there's any downtime, we'll try to, you know, he bought me golf clubs last year for my birthday and I, we went once. So we're gonna try to go twice. Um, we're, looking, we're working on it this week, uh, this summer actually. Now that we can get out of, outside, but um, just family time. I have four boys. Uh, spend as much time as I can with them. And again, though, you know, during that, you need that solitude. You need to be alone as well. So I'm always trying to more self development, um, more spirituality, and stuff like that. I just, I just love it. Yeah, because I, I, I do a lot of talking. As you can see, I love to talk. Oh, so I like that. You know, I'm married 30 years. So I like to just, the, the, my favorite place to be is in the library. Because in the library, you can't talk. Okay. <laughs> That's where I go. You'll find me talking to myself, but you can't talk out loud. So I like going to the library just to, and I love to meditate. I like to meditate and I like to read powerful books, things that would make you, um, you know, just affirmations, things to make you self-reflect and also to make your business, making a, a better business model. I love doing that. So you're just, I want you to know that the short time that I've met you over the phone, you've been, you're an inspiration. I love what you're doing. I never want to, I, I want you to see, do better because you're doing a great job and I see exactly where you're going. I had a girlfriend who reached out to me and she wanted to join one of those MLM companies and it starts with a P and it's almost like America. So I didn't say the name. So, <laughs> I love it. So I told her, I said, reach out, you know, find a distributor here because this is something that she's great at doing it. And she's like, Jackie, come on, because you, you could sell you could sell ice to an Eskimo. I said, I know I can. I know I'm good at that. But it has to be something that I believe in and something that I love and, and I'm passionate about because I'm plant based. So here's my question to you. When you first came up with the tea that everyone's going crazy over, right, the weight loss tea, and it, it's a healthy tea. When did you know that you hit the jackpot? Um, so, so in network marketing, you definitely have to have a product that the, the, the product's got to work and, and people got to buy it just for the product or you don't really have a product. Um, I would say within the first year of us having the tea, people were just calling just to order the tea. They never even care about a compensation or if they were a customer or distributor or anything. They're just like, I just want to buy the tea. 
So that's when you know people love the product for the product. And, per, and then I started, 10 companies have started out of TLC. So with really? that, yes, we, we've had distributors that are with TLC say, well, look, Jack and John make it so easy. We're going to start our own company. So they'll go get the tea and they'll go get our, you know, they'll try to match everything that we're doing. Um, so when that starts happening, you know, you really have a great thing because people are starting to copy you, uh, right. you know, so I would. Yeah, I mean, all of that combined with people, you know, we have more customers than we have distributors. We only so on a weekly basis, we only sign up probably like 8000 new life changers. Those are people that want to work the business and uh, anywhere between 40 and 50000 customers a week. Yeah, so our product is definitely, it works, and we're obviously customer-driven, and that's what I think people mostly appreciate is that that's, you know, that's what we're after. We're after customers because what happens, you're, you, you're either a great customer and, you, you know, we've had people buy the same product, that our Nutriburst product, for uh -huh. 20 years um, every month, month in and month out. So and then if you're a customer and you have that in you that you want to become a distributor, then you'll be the best distributor because you're right. a good customer. If not, you're going to stay a great customer. We're not going to bug you to be a, a life changer. So those are And some that's good because most other companies, you buy the product, they bug you to death that yeah. you have to be a distributor. And that's such a turnoff because I've tried other products and because they bug me to death because they see when I tell people to do something, they'll do it. And I'm like, no, I, I, I can't. But they were bugging me to death because, like I said, I'm definitely going to try your tea. So I want to see how, what, what that all about. Now, what is your what's the next best selling product that you have? Nutriburst. Um, that is the first product we started off with TLC. And it's just, um, you know, it's just, it's a nice liquid multivitamin tasting. You get the, the burst of energy from it. And it's just, it's, it's an amazing product. It's been shipped around the world. It's been duplicated 10 times as well. So, <laughs> well, I want to ask you because we're now, you know, this is taped, this is live too. So when you come to Atlanta, Jack, we really have to, we have to connect. Yeah. So I definitely want to connect with you when you get here because I'm so impressed by you. I'm impressed by your business model and your team. You know, when I spoke with Scott, you know, and you know, and then you guys had me on the conference call with the with the with the three amigos. I felt like, oh my God, what's going on here? Why am I on the phone with the three amigos? What's up? <laughs> you know, am I gonna be ambushed? But I can handle it because I'm from Brooklyn, so I can handle it. Right. So, it was, it was, it was a pleasure. You know, I know you have a lot of things to do. I mean, I can talk to you for hours, but I don't want to disrespect your time because you want to spend time with your family as well. But I just want you to know, Jack, that you're an amazing guy. I appreciate you, for not what you are, but who you are and whose you are, because I see you wearing the cross and you were talking about spirituality and things like that. And if there's anything that we at the Women Are Worthy show can do, please let me know. Jacqueline Charles, please let me know what we can do, because we're here to support you. And I'm definitely going to talk more because um, I have some single women who are looking for jobs and things like that. So. Yeah. Maybe I may talk to someone later on regarding something like that. Um, Cause we do events down here and a lot of women are asking me, what should we do? And I don't know, I didn't know where to put them and tell them what to do things that I trusted. And you know, there's so many things I didn't trust. So I wasn't going to do that to them. So I definitely want to have a conversation with someone who on your team or something like that. But, but if there's anything again, we could do, please let me know. So I want you to have a great evening. Thank you for being an, awesome guest. And I know I'm going to have millions of questions like, why don't you ask me this? Why don't you ask me that? I don't want to take too much of your time because we shall meet again. And I'm sure there'll be another interview. Um, oh, wait a minute. Say that again. Cause you're taped now. Say it again. Please. Say it again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Let's do another one. Let's do part two for sure. Okay. Definitely. And someone's asking me for your link. I'll send it to you regarding. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you, T, about it because I'm telling you, it is, it's some hot stuff. So without further ado, Jack, it was a, 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 it was an honor meeting you. I can okay. cross you off my list and um, add you to my other list, the superstar list, and we'll have another interview. So I want you to have a wonderful day. And also, I really have to say this before we, we disconnect. Please tell your wife, thank you.
Because as a wife, I know you're spending so much time working the business that I want to thank her for allowing you, and I'm going to use the word allow, allowing you to do work your passion and allowing you to give even this time, it's around eight o'clock in Eastern time, but you're giving, you're taking away from family time to be on this show. So I want you to please tell your wife that I said thank you and I'm appreciative of her, okay? Thank you very much. It was my honor to be on the show. Okay, without further ado, and again, don't don't forget to follow the Women Are Worthy show on Facebook, the Women Are Worthy show on Instagram, and YouTube. That's right, we got YouTube. It's the Women Are Worthy Network. So without further ado, have a good evening. Thank you, Jack. You too, thank you. Bye-bye.